Hello and welcome to day three on building a campus network. And on day three, we are focusing our attention on course switch three and then sorry, access switch three and four, which are going to be access switches, which are only going to be configured to have trunk interfaces pointing to course switch one and course switch two. And then we're going to have um uh, access interfaces connecting to this network on VLAN 10 and here to connect to connecting to this separate network on VLAN 20. So without wasting much time, I'll head on to core switch 3. Sorry, access switch 3 over here. And I'll and as you can see um enable let me type show run. I should have reloaded oh okay so let me erase the startup config startup config reload so the entire switch has been reset and there is no configuration on it so en so config t and access host name host name will be access switch three which is switch three in the topology but it's an access switch and we have our vlan 10 exit vlan 20 exit so we are only creating two VLANs on core switch three. Same will be applied to core switch three with no virtual interface IP address. The only IP address which will be configured on the access switches will be VLAN one interfaces, which will be used for management. So the IP address for VLAN one on core switch three will be 10.1.100.3 slash 24. So remember, um, we configured um, 100.1 on core switch 1, 100.2 on core switch 2, and 100.3 on ASX switch 3. So I type enter, no shut, exit. I'll change the VTP mode to transparent, and I'll configure trunk interfaces. So first of all, I'll type show, um, do so IP interface brief. And as you can see, interface 00 will be connecting to core switch 2. Interface 01 will be connecting to core switch 2. And sorry, 00 will be connecting to core switch 1 over here. And then interface 00, 01 will be connecting to core switch 2. And then interface 02 will be connecting to um, this PC on this VLAN 10 network. So therefore, Interface trunk interface are only going to be configured on interface 00 and 01. Now, the only reason why I haven't connected the links is for you to um, get the feel of how it is in the real life. You'll be configuring switches which are not connected in to any neighboring switch. You configure it and then before you join it together to see the effect, right? So, back again interface range um, is like 0 to 1 um switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q and um switch port um mode trunk switch port um non-negotiate right so exit and i'll save the configuration okay let me go back to interface easy slash two um, switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 10. So I'm placing port 2 in VLAN 10 and I'll also enable spanning tree ports for port fast to enable faster convergence port fast. And I, I nearly forgot I needed to, I need to change the interfaces on trunk to use. Um, Point to point to enable faster convergence zero two one so spanning tree length type point to point exit and I'll do right the configurations 
So back on switch four, I'm going to configure same here. Now the switch has been reset. There is no configuration on it. So first of all, host name will be access switch four. Um, VLAN 10, exit, VLAN 20, exit, interface VLAN 1, and I guess you know the IP address next for VLAN 1 on port ASX switch 3, 10.1.100.4 slash 24. Um, no chat, exit, VTP mode, transparent interface range is slash zero to one switch port trunk encapsulation dot one kill switch port mode um trunk spanning g um link type point to point and switch port non negotiate exit interface e slash zero t um switch port um mode access um switch port um access vlan 20. so this brings us to the end of configuring our uh, configurations configuring switch four so at the moment these switches are not connected to any other devices so So this brings us to the end of today's video and we'll continue somewhere in a different day. Thanks for watching this video. See you in my next video.